Whether it's random battles, spiky-haired protagonists, or hunting for crystals that hold the fate of the world, we've come to expect certain things from our favorite role-playing games. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 RPG cliches. You see? No matter which way you go, I block you. For this list, we're looking at some of the most common themes, tropes, and game mechanics you're likely to find in the majority of role-playing games, whether they be Western, Japanese, single-player, or massively multiplayer. Let's go get them! Number 10, Black Hole Backpack. Did you know that most RPG heroes are also obsessive hoarders? Just take a look inside any protagonist's inventory. Do you really need a dozen different swords, 99 healing potions, several full sets of body armor, furniture for your villa, dragon bones, and those flowers that you picked? Luckily, a lot of RPGs offer a bottomless backpack that can be filled with all the kinds of crazy crap you find on your adventure, even if the hero is never even visibly seen with a backpack or even pockets. Number nine, standard archetypes. Sometimes you meet someone new and you get the feeling like you've met them before. And that's because you probably have. On the surface, RPG characters aren't totally original. You've got your fighter, your mage, your healer, your cute little mascot, and so on. After a while, it seems like every game reuses this tried and true formula. But in a way, that's sort of comforting to new players, I guess. Number eight. Heroes get away with anything. Apparently, being the future savior of the world comes with a few perks. Everyone around you is willing to just look the other way while you steal, plunder, and murder your way to the top. Seriously, with only a couple of exceptions, most NPCs just plain don't care if a stranger barges into their home during dinner time, rummages through their stuff, takes their money, smashes their furniture, and leaves. Oh, and those nameless guards you killed while infiltrating the castle? Eh, who cares? It's all for the greater good, right? Number seven, destroyed hometown. Evacuate the civilians to the shelter. Few things will get an RPG hero off of their butts like a good old quest for revenge. The first hour of gameplay will be sure to show you how peaceful and perfect the hero's life is in his serene hometown, only for that to come crashing to an end literally at the hands of a villain. It's an exciting, action-packed, and definitely dramatic way to kick off a story, and it gives our hero something to angst about for the entire game. Hurry and give me your hand! <laughs> and trust us, you will be hearing about it a lot. You alone survived. I am sorry. Number six, repetitive NPCs. Yo, how you feeling today? Video game characters have come a long way, and are getting more and more sophisticated, but they still have their limits. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. NPCs, specifically those found meandering around villages and hubs, are not known for their conversational skills. Shepard. Grunt. Shepard. Rex. Expect a lot of generic readings, cryptic hints about how to advance the plot, or complaints about how their cow has gone missing. Good day. Enough talk. The best part? They'll repeat these lines to you again and again, because what else have they got to do with their time? Of course, the player character often has a go-to response on hand to dismiss the NPCs as well. I should go. I should go. I should go. Number five, rats, bats, spiders, and skeletons. There's no better way to prepare for a long, epic adventure than by pulling out your sword and whacking a few of these generic critters before setting off. <sighs> Your rats, bats, spiders, skeletons, slimes, goblins, and so on aren't terribly dangerous, they're just annoying. And kinda icky. You're bound to encounter at least one of these as you travel through your first cave or dungeon, but soon enough they'll become one-hit kills for you and your team of specially trained war machines. Of course they are. Number four, Magic MacGuffins. You know the drill. The world is out of balance. You need the four crystals or seven magic stars, or the 12 days of Christmas, whatever. RPG plotlines love to follow a formula, and you'll start to pick up on it by the time you visited your third elemental temple or grabbed yet another ancient artifact. Then it's off to the next one. Of course, you could just chuck them into the ocean, 
but instead you're gonna march right up to the bad guy's front door so he can take them right out of your hands, aren't ya? Oops. Number three, amnesiac character. Ah, uh, nothing says mysterious and alluring like forgetting who you are, where you came from, what your name is, and what you're doing with your life. I got no use for the past. Time. Whether it's thanks to an ancient curse, a traumatic event, or some villain's dastardly plot, Amnesia builds up suspense by slowly revealing more and more of the hero's epic past as the game goes on. So, uh, I don't know where this place is. Or even where I came from. This also allows you to better associate with your character, because now everything is new to both of you. And guess what? They'll always, and I say always, have a backstory that ties directly into the main plot. You'll never find a hero who just got blackout drunk one night and hit his head on the pavement and coincidentally also has to save the world. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. Number two, the chosen one. Chosen one? Uh, he must have been out of his mind. If it's not clear yet, RPG heroes always have a burning need to be more special than everyone else. From this moment, Colette becomes the chosen of regeneration. So, if you happen to hear of a prophecy, a myth, or a rumor of a fabled hero destined to rise up and save the world from the clutches of darkness, you can be pretty sure that it's definitely true, and it's definitely you they're talking about. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. I mean, if it wasn't, why would you even be hearing it? You don't have time for things that aren't about you, right? Oh, how I wish you weren't the only person who could bring light to that deep, dark abyss. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Number one, no one else can do anything. So it turns out there's a downside to being the center of the universe. Sure, you get all the glory of saving the world, but you also get to play as a glorified servant to everyone from that little kid looking for his dog to the old woman that's looking for five vials of fairy tears. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. Everyone else in the world will be happy to stand around, never lifting a finger, yelling out their problems until you walk by. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Of course, most of these NPCs are willing to line your pockets with a little gold in exchange, but they just can't be bothered to do it themselves. I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore. And you know you're gonna say yes every time, because you're the hero, damn it. And you're also pretty greedy. Nice excuse. Do you agree with our list? I think you might have overdone it. What other cliches do you see way too much of in your favorite RPGs? For more insightful top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.